I moved into a new apartment last year, which was in a small two-room building inside of a much larger complex. I went out on my balcony one night at around 3 in the morning, not being able to sleep. The area behind my building was a national forest, so aside from a few crickets, it was totally silent out there. No sounds from cars or people, just the stars and, for some odd reason, a large amount of vultures that would fly around my building. Anyways, while I was out there getting some fresh air, I thought I heard a truck pull up from out front of the building. Then a short while later I heard this odd dripping coming from the wall. It hadn't rained or anything that day so I figured it must be coming from the water pipes or something. So I decided to walk downstairs and check it out. I like to think of myself as a helpful guy and if something was broken I could report it to the office. I walked around the backyard until I could locate the source of the mysterious dripping. Flashing my light across an indented part of the building, I gazed upon some liquid about a foot up from the ground on the wall. Upon further inspection, I found a little hole with liquid seeping out from it. The strange thing was, the stuff coming out from the pipe was what appeared to be cream. And if that wasn't bad enough, it smelled rotten. I gazed up at the building wondering where the stuff could have been coming from. My individual building was only two stories high and the apartment above mine was supposedly empty. So this was definitely pretty suspicious. I went back inside and attempted to go back to sleep, but about 10 minutes after I closed my eyes, I heard this distinct thumping from the apartment above mine. Pretty creeped out. I made sure all of my doors were bolted and slept with a baseball bat beside my bed that night. Then the next day, I headed over to the front office as soon as they were open to ask them about the situation. On my way over there, though, I was startled by the familiar jingle of an ice cream truck pulling out of the neighborhood. I thought it was odd that an ice cream truck was leaving our neighborhood this early, but it was a Saturday, so I guess I figured kids were out somewhere. When I talked to the people at the front, they told me that there was definitely no one living in the apartment above mine, and that if I really heard someone, we should have the police come by and at least check it out. I figured it wouldn't hurt to have cops go in and take a look, so we gave them a call. When the police showed up, they did a full report, and I told them everything that had happened throughout the night, especially about the mysterious liquid that had been dripping out from the side of the building. They went in and did a full investigation, and strangely found nothing. No sign at all of anyone being there. They even went over to the little pipe around the side of the house and investigated that. Then my building manager told me that there was probably a stoppage in the piping somewhere, causing the liquid to bulk up like that. He didn't really have an explanation as to why it was white though. So that night I went out to my balcony at about 3 in the morning again, and like clockwork I heard a vehicle pull up. Then about 10 minutes later that dripping began. I walked around to the front of the building and saw that there weren't any cars parked in front of it. However, the ice cream truck I had seen in the morning was parked at the building next door. Of course, the office was closed, but I did think it was an appropriate time to inform the cops about this again. There was definitely something going on in this building that was a little bit off. So they came over about a half hour later and went up to the apartment above mine but again, there was nothing. No sign of forced entry, no people inside, nothing at all. I walked around to the front and saw that the truck was gone again. I didn't understand how it could have cleared out so fast. The police were a bit upset with me now because it seemed like there was no reason for any of these calls. Then they politely recommended that next time I make sure something's going on before calling them over. They didn't have to ask me twice that was the last time I was going to call them. I woke myself up again at about 3 and went out to the back porch. I heard the truck pulling up again. I was ready this time though and walked out to my front door with my cell phone out. I was going to take a picture and hopefully catch the guy in the act of something. I stepped outside and looked over at the neighbor's building and saw it parked there again. Then I walked over and took a photo of the license and saw that the plate was just sixes. I went back inside and heard the thump again from upstairs. I decided at that moment I had to find out what was going on, and I had a way to do it too. 
I decided to get up on the railing from my porch and climb up on the upstairs balcony. It was just a few feet up, and just between you and me, my friends and I had done it a couple times as a joke anyways. Once I was up there, I peeked in the balcony door and saw that the living room was totally empty. But then upon closer examination, I noticed there was a whitish liquid leading from the front door to the bathroom. Luckily, the bathroom was visible through the window on the side of the roof. So I quietly made my way onto the roof. I crawled my way up to the window and when I peeked inside through the blinds, I saw a man standing inside the bathtub. He was a tall and skinny man, bald and greasy, with dark eyes and a white jumpsuit on and had a clear plastic bag the size of a body bag between his legs. It was filled to the brim with that white, melted, creamy substance. He began squeezing the bag, emptying the cream through a tube into the drain. At first I thought this was just an odd way for some local ice cream man to dispose of his leftover product, but that was until I saw what was left in the bag once the liquid was empty. There were a couple skulls and bones in there, appearing to be from a child. I about fell off the roof, sliding back a bit and catching myself, and I guess I must have made too much noise, because the man looked up at me through the blinds. I thought he'd be disturbed, but he just stared, and his lips formed into a creepy V-like smile. I quickly got back to the balcony and immediately climbed back down to my porch. Not knowing what else to do, I just sat on my couch in the living room, chewing my fingernails and rocking back and forth. I had to try the police again, it was my only choice. So I picked up the phone and dialed 911 when someone started knocking at my door. The amount of terror I felt is unexplainable. I didn't even want to look through the people for fear that there would be a gun out there pointed at me or something. But then after they knocked a few times, curiosity got the best of me and I finally decided to look through. But there was no one out there. Just the empty front doorstep with a note sitting on the rug. I slowly opened the door and reached out and grabbed the note. I had a feeling this was going to be the part where I read something along the lines of not saying anything about what I saw or else I would end up in one of those bags myself. But oddly it didn't say that. It just read, Thank you for enjoying Cheesy Charlie's delicious ice cream. The ice cream that comes home with you. I never saw that ice cream truck again, but even after I told the police about it and they did a full investigation, I somehow haven't been able to shake it, and I'm just waiting for the time he decides to pay me one last visit and let me sample his newest flavor.